Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from iSocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to talk about how to use Google Meet for your online video meetings. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump into this. And by the way, Google Meet used to be a paid product. It was part of G Suite, but now recently Google has made it free for everyone. So right now, all you need is at gmail.com email address and you will have access to this free tool. And yes, it's a really good and free alternative to Zoom. A lot of you guys have concerns about Zoom and their privacy. If that's the case, you can look into Google Meet. All right, now let's jump into the demo. And it's a really simple tool. I love how simple and how integrated this tool is with the, the Gmail and with the Google Calendar. So first of all, here's the URL meet.google.com premium video meetings for uh, now free for everyone. Now, if you wanted to start a new meeting, you can click here. Or if you had a meeting code, let's say someone was inviting you to their meeting, you could enter the code here. So in our demo, I'm just going to click on start a meeting right here. And now it's going to come to this screen right here, just getting ready for the meeting. And by the way, this is where you want to make sure everything is set up right. So my microphone, my camera, make sure you have that enabled. And then also you can click on these three dots and then look at different options right here. For example, let's go to the settings and then make sure you have the right. Sometimes, you know, people have multiple microphones or multiple speakers. So before you join the meeting, make sure your audio and also your video have, you have the right equipment selected. The resolution, if you have really, really, really good internet, you can go to high definition. For me, for my testing, standard definition is more than perfect. So I, I, that's what I use. And there's nothing in the general, let's hit done. So this is where you make sure you have the right setup. The audio is working and the video is working. Now, when everything is good, you see right here, so here's the meeting uh, code right here at the end of meet.google.com. Uh, that we have. So this is the the link or the code that you have to send to other people that you want to join in your meeting. All right, for now, I am going to click on join now and that will basically start the meeting. So let's hit join now because I want to show you what the meeting actually looks like. And again, if I wanted to add other, there are a couple of different ways. The first one is I can copy this link and then send it to different people or I can just click on add people and then this is where I love it. I can add you know, people for my Gmail. So for example, if I wanted to add my friend Jim, I'll just enter his email address and then send him an email right here. And then he'll get invitation to this meeting. Very, very simple. Let me go back. And then this is the screen right here. So let's go through this. First of all, right here is all the people. So right now it's just me. When you have more people here, you'll see all of them. Let's go back. And also the three icons right here. So you have a couple of options. You can change the layout. You can go full screen. Here's another cool thing. You can turn on caption. I think this is where uh, Google Meet has a upper hand on Zoom. If I turn on captions, it's going to turn on automatic captions. And by the way, I was surprised how good the, the AI is and how good the transcription was. Look at this. So, you know, that's another feature you can use inside Google Meet. So for now, let me turn it off. If I click on settings, it's basically going to take me back to the same screen to make sure I can test my audio and video. Let's go back. And then the, this one right here is present now. So I'm able to, uh, during a meeting, I can share my entire screen, a specific window or a Chrome tab. Very simple. Turn on caption, there's this easy button right here, so I can do that. And then if I wanna turn off my camera, I'll click here and now my camera is off. If I, if I wanna leave the meeting, I'll just kinda leave, click on leave call. And if I wanna turn off my microphone, that's where I would click. Now here, right here is the meeting details. So it's the same thing here. Um, the meeting joining info, I can copy that and send it to different people that I want to invite. So the interface is very simple and the, what I like about the Google Meet is the ability to add the automatic caption. I think that's very, very cool. So it's a very simple tool, meet.google.com is the URL, so go test it out. Uh, if you have been using Zoom but concerned about their privacy, I think you will like the experimenting and testing Google Meet. Now there's one other thing I want to show you which is my favorite part about Google Meet. How integrated this thing is to the Gmail or the Google Calendar system. Now let me hang up this call. 
So I'm going to disconnect this call. Let's return to the home screen right here. So now I am going to go to my Google Calendar, which is right here. So let's say I, I am scheduling a meeting. And let's say I want to schedule a meeting with someone on Saturday at 10, 12 p.m. So I'll click on that. And now let's say the meeting is Ali plus Jim Hangout, whatever, right? But check this out. This is what I was talking about. I can just click on this Add Google Meet Video Conferences. So when I do that, watch what happens. It's going to automatically add the link to the meeting that I just created. And we can have up to 100 participants in that meeting. How cool is that? And then all I have to do is just save. And that meeting will be uh, created on my calendar. And I can add, invite people. For example, Jim, I can invite him via email. And in the email invitation, he will have a link to the, the Google Meet uh, meeting. How simple is that? So that's my favorite thing about Google Meet. Uh, but it's a very simple product and it's from Google and like I mentioned it used to be paid and under the G Suite so only if you had paid access or if you were a paid member of G Suite you would use Google Meet but recently they have made it free for everyone so make sure you use it and we can invite up to 100 uh, members or participants in our Google Meet call for now. Maybe they will extend that limit in the future, but that's what we can do right now. If you guys have any questions related to Google Meet and how we do online meetings, leave those questions in the comments below. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.